Yes, my fans. This is your boy Bonnie again. And today is the day after Christmas. And I just come to just give God thanks for another day. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my children. I just want to thank God, the one who wake me up this morning and, you know, give me the opportunity. You know, yesterday Christmas Day, we have a wonderful day. Yes, it was only two of us, but we have a nice table spread with lovely things, you know. There's a song that said, there's a table spread with lovely things, you know. So, our table yesterday was spread with a lot of food, a lot of happiness. You know, we have a wonderful day. My children them couldn't come around, my grandchildren them couldn't come around to celebrate the day with us but we do it on our own and today I just wanna as I said I wanna thank God that I live to see this day in spite of everything that's going on around the world many people don't live to see 2020 Christmas but I want to say to every person who lived to see this day, say thank God whether you did have food on the table, yes or no. Because what? You live to see the day. He said, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. So, I just want you to Rejoice that you live to see Christmas 2020 because many people do not live to see it. COVID is going on, going around, and a lot of us catch COVID and survive through it. A lot of people don't catch it, but I want to say, you give God thanks. That you never catch it. But that don't mean COVID no out there. COVID is out there. I know people who said they're not even a wear mask. But I would advise every person out there. Be wise, be smart, and be sensible. It don't mean because you know catch COVID or you never catch COVID or you don't know somebody will catch COVID that don't mean you exempt from catching COVID so for me personally to you this moment be smart be wise and be sensible wear your mask I'm not say, as I said this before, I'm not saying you must wear a mask on the road at all times. But in public places like shop, chemist, supermarket, public transport, wherever you are, where you think it's vulnerable, please, please, please wear your mask. Yes, yesterday was Christmas Day. And me know a lot of people, a lot of people mix with other people. Some is family, some is not family. But trust me, we're gonna hear in January how COVID number go up more because we the people who been hacking silly during this Christmas 
and think say we're not gonna catch COVID. Let me tell you something. This today is the day after Christmas. I don't watch any news today yet. But we won't see if we even watch the news today. Wait until January. We think lockdown hen, but I'm telling you, come January, we're gonna have a big lockdown. I don't really want that to happen, but because of our behavior towards COVID, it's gonna happen. It's not hen. But as I said, let us be wise, let us be smart, let us be sensible. This is all I have to say to people, you know. Let us be wise, let us be smart, let us be sensible. Because COVID do not respect any person. And nobody know where COVID is. I don't care what you want to say about me now. But I tell people this already. I said, me personally, I was in hospital. Not for COVID, for something else. But while I was there, I was scared. I was scared. I wear my mask right through. I was in the hospital, even in my bed. I wear my mask. Every time I'm going through the corridor, the porter take me through the corridor. I'm spraying my hand. I'm wiping. I'm going in the wheelchair. I'm wiping. I'm in my bed. I'm spraying. I'm wiping. I was scared. I come out of the hospital. I was test, test for COVID. Touch wood. I never have it. I come out. I still scared. Right through that seven day period. I was home. I was scared. I was scared. No, let me tell you something. Even before I go into shop, I wear my mask. I have what you call it disinfect or whatever you call it in my car as soon as I go in my car I clean I wipe I come out of my car I clean I wipe I'm scared of this thing don't get me wrong you know I know that one day I'm gonna die but I rather something else to kill me more than COVID to kill me I am not said I am not gonna catch COVID but I am gonna try my best to prevent catching COVID. So I don't leave my sanitizer and I don't leave my gloves. My, not even my gloves, me no wear gloves. My mask. I don't leave my mask and I don't leave my sanitizer. So I'm advising every person out there, wear your mask, sanitize, keep social distance. And protect your family and your children and your surround your loved one. Let us be smart. That's the only thing me have to tell people. I can't stress this no more. We lose too much people in this world already for COVID. You know when you think about how much people die in all the countries in America, UK, Jamaica, and all around the world, how much people die from COVID? Why you think you're not gonna catch your number if you're not gonna catch it? Let us be stop, be selfish. Until when one a year relative catch COVID and end up in a hospital, you're not gonna take it serious. And you know yourself. Wherever you are watching this, you know yourself. Because you claim that you're not gonna catch COVID. And COVID is not real. Talking rubbish. When I hear people talk about COVID is not real, they just make me feel sick. Yeah? You just make me feel sick. Because if COVID is not real, what is killing the people them so much? All right, you go out there then. Don't wear your mask. Go into public places. Go to crowded places. And when your time comes, you will see. I have friend catch it. I have close, close friend catch it. I have family catch it. But touch God was so good that they overcome it. You might not so lucky. Your family might not so lucky. So my word 
to every person out there. Be wise, be smart, be sensible, do the right thing, wear your mask, sanitize. I can't stress this anymore. I really and truly can't stress this anymore. So all I have to say to you, this is my message to every person out here. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Sanitize. Sanitize. Keep social distant. Keep social distant. Keep social distant. Beware of crowded place. This is my message to every person out there. We make it through Christmas. We don't know if we're going to make it to the new year. But I pray and I hope that we will live to see the new year and we will have a better 2021. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God guide you. May God comfort you. I love you all. I love you all. I love you all. May the good Lord bless and keep you and your family. May your health be well for 2021. May your children's health be blessed for 2021. May your life be happy for 2021. This is my 2020 message to each and every person as we go forth into 2021. God bless you. God keep you. God guide you. God cover you. I give you my blessing in Jesus' name. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I pray that your food basket will never empty. So Jesus, in the name of your name, Jesus, I come before your presence right now. I pray for every person who make it through 2020. And as we are about to go in to 2021, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we will believe that Jesus is the one that brings us through this 2020 with this dangerous virus that we're facing. So for every person who make it through 2020, thank you, Jesus, for our life. Thank you for their life. Thank you for the children's life. But most of all, I thank you for you, Christ Jesus, because you are the one who keep us. And as we go forth into 2021, we pray that the grace of God the love of God will go with us to continue to guide and protect us. We also pray that this virus will go in the name of Jesus, that we will be able to go back to normal. I know, oh God, that it's not going to be just as we go into 2021, but as we go through 2021 and we manage to keep ourselves sanitized wear our masks and keep social distance we will able to fight through and come back to normal this i ask in the name of jesus christ and this i pray that we the people will obey the rules of the government we will follow the rules of the government that we will be able to overcome. God, I thank you for this moment. I thank you for what you have done. I thank you for what you are about to do, oh great God, as I continue to glorify you. Bless my household. 
Bless my children also. Bless my sisters and brothers also. Bless your world, O oh God. As I leave myself, your world and your children in your hand. In Jesus' name, I pray. To God be the glory. Great things you have done. In Jesus' name. I pray for the government. The head of state in every country. I pray for the leaders. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for the pastors. I pray for the bishop. Every person in leadership. I pray in Jesus' name. Leadership in the hospital. Leadership in school. In church. Whatever position you're in, in leadership. I pray for you right now. That God will minister to you. That whatever you do in your position, you will use it for benefit to the people that you lead. In whatever way. To God be the glory. Great things you have done. I leave myself in your hand. In your capable hand, God. That you will minister to me, O oh great God. That I will able to minister to someone through the word that you lay on my heart. And I will be able to use this platform that you give me to glorify you in Jesus' holy name. Thank you again, Lord. Thank you for what you have done and what you are about to do as I carry on. Glorify your name, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God be the glory. Great things you have done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord.